Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be answering a viewer's question regarding unit mismatch between results and required when using formulas and in this case it's timesing two constraints together so we have two constraints if I want to tie together and we're getting this unit mismatch error that's coming up in the formula editor so this is an extra video that I'm going to put on the channel and let's have a look at how we can fix this for this tutorial I'm in the sketcher and I'm going to create a quick sketch that I can constrain down with formulas so we're just going to use a polyline to create a sketch like so something like this and what we're going to do is use some formulas against this and constrain this down so if I put some length along here like so and we'll make that 50 millimeters and we're going to name this one and I'm going to call this say length a and give a capital L as well so that one there and we'll name this one as well so this one as well we'll create a constraint against there now we'll set that to 20 millimeters so we've got those constraints in there and we'll name that constraint as well so let's double click on that constraint and name it to length B So we have length A and length B. If I wanted to use both of these in the formula, let's say we want to use it in the formula on the right hand side and I want to add those two together, we just add the length, use the formula, and we use constraints dot length A, 50 millimeters plus constraints dot length B which is absolutely fine it computes correctly we get the 70 millimeters there the trouble comes when we change this plus to a times and we get a unit mismatch between results and required how do we solve this well what we have to do is use times on the end and type one millimeter and use the carrot symbol and minus one and therefore we now get the required result. So we look at that formula, you can see we've got times one millimeter using the carrot symbol on UK and US keyboards. That is the shift and the six key. So you can see that above there. I believe that's on the same on the US keyboard. And we just use the minus one on the end and that resolves. And that formula now can be used. That's going to be quite a big constraint if I hit OK, so you can see that's going to go off miles out of the way. So that's how to resolve that issue when you have the unit mismatch in there. So that's a quick video for me, just to bide you over for the time being until I get the next video out. This question originally came from a viewer on the site, and I hope that's answered the question. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.